just came in and out comes Hey guys, it's Dan Yell, and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is the first time you're tuning in. Hey, y'all see how y'all might hear that? Give it a second, give it a second, give it a second. I am going to do um, a review on how I feel about this hair after I've had it installed and I colored it too. Well, I didn't color it, but I had somebody color it. So yeah, I'm going to do a review on this hair about how I feel about it after I had installed that video is coming soon. So make sure y'all look out for that. Today I'm going to be telling y'all some tips on how I keep my skin pretty clear. And I'm also going to show y'all like a skin routine type of thing because like I don't really have a skin routine. But like I have, I'm going to show y'all like the products that I I do have a skin routine. It's like washing my face in a moisturizer, but that's it. And then I'm gonna show y'all the products that I use on my face to wash my face to moisturize. And I'm gonna show y'all some things that I use when I'm breaking out or if I see how my skin is like not looking its best. So first y'all, I'm going to tell y'all the tips on how to get clear skin or keep clear skin if you already have it. So y'all, let's get into the video. My first tip to keep clear skin or to have clear skin is to wash your face daily like this is really really important you need to wash your face in the morning and at night especially if you have oily skin it's really important but you should do it whatever type of skin type you have you should wash your face twice a day like do it every time you brush your teeth or something like that because y'all when y'all leave dirt and stuff on your face that's how you get pimples when stuff gets in your pores and yeah my next tip for clear skin to so don't like overuse like too many different products. You see all these different products like on the market that say they help you clear your skin and all different types of stuff like that. But y'all don't want to overuse too many products on your face because if you do that, it's going to cause your skin to break out because your skin is reacting to different things and you don't know how your skin will be affected by all these different products that you use. So you want to like really just keep it simple. If you are going to use like different products on your skin, try to use like stuff that's natural or doesn't have any sense to it and stuff like that. But really all that you need to do to keep your skin clear, if it's already clear or to get clear skin is to wash your face and use a moisturizer. Um, if you're having like skin problems, the best thing, like bad, bad skin problems, you can't really use products out here on the market for that. The best thing that you can do is to go see a dermatologist. But if a dermatologist is too expensive, I'm gonna tell y'all about another product that I use that can, um, what is the word? That is like built for your personal, your personal skin type. But I'm gonna show y'all that when I do my skin routine. So yeah, make sure you keep watching if you wanna learn about that. Oh, girl, can I read my own writing? So my next tip is to don't like touch your face a lot because when you touch your face, your hands have like touched so many things throughout the day. When you touch your face, you're just putting all those germs on your face and it's gonna cause you to have pimples and to break out. This is really hard for me because I touch my face all day, but I'm trying to work on it because like I get pimples a lot from doing it. So yeah, don't touch your face a lot or try not to. My next tip is kind of hard to control but it's really important because y'all stress acne is a thing so my next tip is try not to stress yourself um i know this is hard but one way you can do that is to cut like all the toxic try and cut all the toxic things out of your life y'all like toxic friendships toxic relationships all that like all that stuff can really affect your skin and all your overall health so you really want to try to cut all that stuff out i know it's kind of hard sometimes to cut people off and to stop doing certain things but in the long run it's really going to help you and sometimes you really have to think about yourself so you really have to cut all these toxic people and toxic friendships out of your life and that's like one of the only things you can control is to cut the things that you can't cut out of your life so you really want to cut out toxic stuff out of your life and that will y'all really will see it in your skin like i'm not lying stress acne is real for real y'all okay and then my next tip is that like it's not a one size fits all for skin products so like when you see all these things on the market that are saying they're gonna help your skin like nine times out of ten you're not gonna see a difference when you're just um like picking things up off the shelf because everything is not made for one person's skin so like 
you can't just buy anything that one is something that is helping another person might not help you so it's really good to see a professional that's another reason why you should see a professional is because all everything like i don't care what they claim everything that they say is not going to work for everybody's skin like when i try to use masks and all this these different types of things it really doesn't make a difference on my skin because it's not built for my type of skin and by the way y'all it looks like my skin is clear because it's camera but i do have like some skin problems like my nose right here and i usually do get like bumps right here but i did something those like literally just went away yesterday because i found out something that I'm, i can use to get rid of those so yeah y'all i got rid of my bumps over here and yeah those are really just where i have problems that is right here and on my nose and then sometimes i get pimples around like my eyebrows because i always do my eyebrows and i use a lot of makeup right there and around my edges from like edge control so yeah that's um some of the skin problems that i have but my next tip well i really already said this but my next tip is to see a dermatologist if you're having like really bad skin problems then more than likely like going to Publix or target or cvs and buying um something off of that skincare aisle that says gonna help your skin is really not gonna do anything you probably really have to get like um a medicine to help your skin that's probably the only thing that's gonna work is to go see a dermatologist so yes my next tip for clear skin is not to sleep in your makeup y'all like this is really really important this is something that i notice like will affect your skin overnight which me i really don't get a lot of pimples but and i don't wear a lot of makeup but every time i have worn makeup like for prom or for an event or anything most of the time i fall asleep in it and i notice pimples like the next day so it's really important that y'all wash off all the makeup that you if you if you wear makeup wash y'all off before you go to sleep because you're gonna have more pimples in the morning if you're wearing your makeup to sleep um my next tip is to not let like hair products that you're using like say you're using edge control or stuff like on your hair and your hair is touching your face over here you want to try not to let those hair products get on your face because a lot of reasons that's why your face is breaking out like especially around the edges or if you're getting like breakouts right here a lot of times it's because um all those products that you put on your hair are getting um into your skin my next tip is to not wear unnecessary makeup like y'all if y'all don't need something don't use it because makeup really can cause your skin to get worse so like if you have clear skin already and you're like using foundation it's really not necessary for, for you to do that and that can cause your skin to break out and stuff so like or like if you just got your eyebrows waxed and you're concealing around your eyebrows like that's kind of unnecessary so one good thing that you can do for your skin is to cut out like all the unnecessary makeup that you're using and that can help to clear up your skin um and then my last tip for clear skin is to cut out like um like sugars out of your diet and fats out of your diet like you can eat some stuff but like try not to like overdo it like if you're eating like sweet stuff all day and you're eating fast food all day like it's going to affect your skin because what you're putting into your body is going to show on the outside so you want to try not to put bad things into your body obviously if you're trying to clear up your skin and that can also help your hair to grow and your body to look right on it so you want to make sure that you're putting into your body what you want to see on the outside so yeah y'all those are my 10 tips for clear skin and now i'm going to show y'all the products that i use on my skin and how my skin routine that i do at night because that's usually when i use most of my products is at night well i don't have a lot of stuff but that's when i use all the stuff that i do use is at night so y'all i'm gonna do that so okay y'all so i usually start by tying up my hair before i wash my face so that's what i'm gonna do oh wait y'all first i gotta take off the lashes So after I take off everything, my eyelashes, I put my hair up, then I'm going to wash my face. So this is what I use to wash my face. This is um, African black soap. This is 100% African black soap. And y'all, this is what real black soap looks like. It's, it looks like dirt. And y'all, y'all don't want to use fake black soap. It's like a little black bar. It's like the color black. I think it's like Shea Moisture or something. I don't think that's real black So That stuff can break out your face. And they've had like lawsuits against it. So you want to make sure you use an insulin if you're going to use black soap. And I got this for these five. It was like $3. 
So I'm gonna wash my face with that. Um, when you're washing your face, you wanna make sure you're using um, cool water, not hot water, because hot water will dry your face. So once you've washed your face, you wanna take a clean towel and you wanna um, gently dry off your face. Make sure you get it all the way dry. So if my skin is doing good, this is just the end of what I do to take care of my skin. But if it's like, if I see my skin is like breaking out or something, or if I see pimples starting to pop out, usually at the time of my cycle, cause that's when I get a lot of acne, then these are the next things that I do to take care of my skin. So the first thing that I would do if my skin is breaking out is, well, you can't see the label on this, but this is the Dimers um, Witch Hazel. So first, I will take this and put it on a cotton ball and rub it all over my face. You don't want to put too much, just a little bit. So after I've done that, next I will take um, Curology. And this is a product that actually works if you have acne this and it will help to clear, clear up your acne it's um it's 30 dollars a month for a bottle but i usually don't use the whole bottle in a month so i've had this bottle for a while because i only use it when i need it so um you just go to their website and then you put in the problems that you have with your skin it'll give you like a prescription type of thing so this is what's in mind that they sent me it says it's um is it is it a little bit is acid I don't know how to say this stuff, but here, y'all can read it. That's what's in my bottle. And most people's bottles are different, so yeah. Um, the problems that I put for my skin is that I have these bumps around my nose, and I have a mix of dry and oily skin, and I get bumps over here on my cycle, and yeah, I think that's all that I put in. So then what you wanna do is you just wanna take two pumps of this, like that and then just rub it all over your skin like a moisturizer like so next what i would take is if i have like pimples so y'all my camera cut off but basically all that i said is that when i have pimples um i put this on the pimple overnight and usually it'll go away i got this from target and all that it is is benzoyl peroxide and you can really get this from anywhere so yeah all that i did was i, put, I had a pimple right here so i just put a little bit on the pimple and you don't rub it in all the way it just dries up over your face right there and then you can take it off in the morning when you wash your face so yeah y'all and then the last part that i use on my skin i'm not gonna use this right now because i usually don't use this at night but this is the moisturizer that i use on my face in the morning um it's really good for if you have oily skin because it doesn't have any oil in it. It doesn't make your face like all greasy. It just makes sure you don't have any dry spots on your face. So, yeah, y'all. I got this from Trader Joe's. And, yes, that is all the products that I use on my face. I'm going to put everything I use in the description below. If this video helped y'all, make sure you leave a thumbs up and a comment. And if you haven't already subscribed, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.